Hello and welcome back again with another interesting video. Today we will be discussing about the Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield has no plans to play Spider-Man again, but nobody believes him. Everyone's going to call me a liar. In a recent interview, actor Andrew Garfield said he had no plans to play Spider-Man again after Spider-Man. No way home but admitted that due to his track record of lying in interviews, nobody would believe him. After a seven years break, Andrew Garfield returned to play Spider-Man in last year's Marvel blockbuster Spider-Man. No Way Home, the actor had earlier portrayed the popular hero in two films of the Amazing Spider-Man series from 2012 to 2014. Prior to No Way Home's release, there were leaks and rumors pointing out at Andrew's return, but the actor kept denying it for two years. In a recent interview, Andrew addressed how that was affected his credibility. Following the success of No Way Home, fans have campaigned for the shell The Amazing Spider-Man 3 to be revived with Andrew in the lead. The actor recently said that might be happening but added that nobody would believe whatever he says. Speaking to Variety on the red carpet of the Screen Actors Guild Awards on Sunday night, Andrew was asked if he was playing Spider-Man again. The actor laughed and said, no plans, that's the truth. But as the interviewer didn't seem to be convinced, Andrew flustered and conceded that he is not very trustworthy given his track record. Everyone's going to call me a liar for the rest of my life. I'm the boy who cried wolf now. He added, Andrew was nominated for Outstanding Leading Actor in a Motion Picture at the Sage Awards 2022 for his performance in Tick Tick Boom. However, he lost to Will Smith for King. He is also nominated for a Best Actor Oscar for the same film. In an earlier interview with Variety, Andrew had said that his fellow Spider-Man Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland congratulated him for the nomination. Yeah, I have. I got a sweet, sweet text from Tom and Tobey. Very, very sweet. The Spider Brothers are in action today and they have been very, very sportive. Andrew Garfield is responsible for the skateboarding scene. In a 2012 interview with the Daily Mirror, Andrew Garfield reveals that the fought to get certain scenes into the first TSM movie. One of these is the scene where Peter Parker is skateboarding. I won a lot of the battles and lost a couple, Garfield says. At least I fought. I gave everything I could. There's only so much you can do. Eventually you have to let go. Given that in November, Garfield said that he would often have hated arguments with Sony co-chairman Amy Pascal over the movie's creative decision. It would be fair to assume that's what he is referring to here. Number 4. Andrew Garfield studied famous athletes and spiders for Spider-Man movement. Garfield is an unabashed fan of the Spider-Man character. So much so, he wanted to get the characters feel right. Movements included. Garfield studied the movements of famous athletes like Muhammad Ali and Cristiano Ronaldo. However, he also studied the movements of spiders. You know, because he's Spider-Man. If you are gonna do it and treat it real, if my DNA is being mixed with that of an actual spider, Garfield says in a 2012 NPR interview, then why not actually bring in the physicality of a spider? The lightness, the stillness, the patience, and how that changes a 17-year-old boy. That's a fun thing to play with them as well. Number 5. Why fans are disappointed with Kurt Connors this, The Amazing Spider-Man gave us our first live-action adaptation of Dr. Kurt Connors, Aka, the Lizard. But let's be severely honest, he is a forgettable villain. In fact, his actor, Wes Evans, felt disappointed by the end product as he explained to Total Film. Number 6. Kevin Feige gave ASM2 filmmakers some notes. Like or hate the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but you can't deny Kevin Feige's passion for the universe. If he his current projects aren't evidence enough for you than these behind the scenes notes he took for Sony symbolic Amazing Spider-Man 2 might be. As revealed in the leaked Sony emails, the MCU mastermind was highly critical of the Andrew Garfield led Spider School and made several suggestions to the filmmakers on how they might improve the film. Number 7. Sally Field hated working on the film. Sally Field has worked in many significant roles over the years. However, if there is one role she doesn't have found memories of behind the scenes, it's Auntie May in the Amazing Spider-Man film. In an interview with Howard Stern, Field mentioned that she only played May as a favor to the film's producer Laura Ziskin, of whom she was a close friend. Behind the scenes, Sally Field reckoned, it's really hard to find a three-dimensional character in it and you work it as much as you can. But you can't put 10 pounds of shit in a 5-pound bag. Wow, tell us how you really feel, Sally. Felt that they would dramatize Peter's intellect and look cool. 
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like, comment and share it with your friends.